before I pack away my Commodore 64, I thought I'd do a video of the Commodore 64 version of Dizzy Down the Rapids, since that was my last video. So I'm going to have to dig that out and uh, and I'll show you all what the Commodore 64 version looks like. I don't remember ever playing it, so maybe I haven't. Yeah, for some reason, these have all got yellow slips on them. And I'm wondering why there's four cassettes. They could have saved some money by putting one game on here and a different game on here. Which... They appear to have done on one of the cassettes. Dizzy Panic. Quick Snacks. Yeah. Sold that. So here's Dizzy down the rapids. So I've skipped out all the loading and everything because this is going to be a pretty quick video um, pretty much just to show off the game and how it's different from the Amstrad version it's got the same music though is it just me or is that scrolling message almost impossible to read Dizzy looks a bit weird there, doesn't he? Well, this time it doesn't scroll automatically, uh, which does sort of make me think it's not very much a rapids, more just a, a river. It's all very colourful and cartoony. Uh, and actually, I really like the look of this. I mean, obviously, it's in C64 revision. I don't know why that bird's flying backwards, though. There's quite a lot of enemies on screen, and they're quite easy to get rid of. Bloody hell, was that a double nuclear explosion? I like that they completely fill up the screen. Um, or if the water was plain blue, then it would look a little bit lifeless, but they've got this nice animated wave going on all over the place. Look at that, there's loads and loads of stuff going on. I'm actually quite impressed because the C64, although it does have sprites, it can only put about eight on screen uh, without extra trickery. I'm trying so hard to avoid that. And then I get caught by it anyway. Alright, there we go. Well, that was a very short play. But I've got to say, I actually really like that. It's a lot different from the Amstrad version, but it's 
different in a good way in almost every way. The only thing that I'm not a huge fan of is the fact that there's no music in game. But yeah, there you go, that's Dizzy Down the Rapids on the Commodore 64. I thought I'd get in, I'd squeeze in one little extra game before I pack it away.